Hello, <clears throat> I'm Patty Flynn, and I'm making a deck profile for Easter. It's based on your two rabbit. Here's that's like the main good bunny con. Okay. I could have made a deck profile based on Mecha Rabbit, but I decided on Rescue Rabbit or Mecha Bunny or whatever. And so I just used one Rescue Rabbit because it's limited. <coughs> Three Sonic Trick is the Scrambled egg trap card, which is pretty mean. If a monster you control is destroyed by battle, I might call a fan and print to the graveyard, especially on one Sonic check from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So it's pretty really and so, and Sonic check cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster with 19 more attack. Right now, this is just a basic for fun, like, I have no extra side deck. Gonna make one, but it's basically a belly deck, so. It's a bit competitive because I also based it on this with rescue rabbit's effect. This like cannot be special summoned from the that you can banish this face up card to special summon two level four lower monsters you can draw with the same name from your deck and destroy them during your end phase. You can only use the rescue summon. So I basically would special summon two uh, alpha the main warriors to beta. Depending on which ones I have in my hand, because I use three of each. So, basically, this is a bit more of a m competitive magnet warrior deck to some Vulcan, the magnet, Megron the warrior. Because of its effect, cannot be known summoned, I suppose summoned, except by attributing one Alpha the magnet warrior, Beta the magnet warrior, and Gamma the magnet from your hand and on side of the field. You can only switch them in from your hand, though, and so it's pretty good. And also, while it's on the field, you can choose it to special summon one Gamma the Magnet Warrior, one Alpha the Magnet Warrior, and one Beta the Magnet Warrior from the graveyard. Switch some of those targets. So it's pretty good effect. So I use three Alpha the Magnet Warrior, and three Beta the Magnet Warrior, and three. Gamma the main net warrior. And then I use three block golems. It's all monsters in the stack of earth. If you only have the only monsters in your graveyard are earth, you can attribute this card to target two level four lower rock type monsters in your graveyard except block golem and best to summon those targets, but the effects cannot be activated this turn. So it's pretty good since I have you basically use just normal ones. I also use two Hori Move Sandman, his they're good, like I might be replacing them with Mega Rock Dragon because that's a good main card. And that's it for our two other normal type ones. Because that our two or there was a another rabbit card called Dark Rabbit that's normal that I was thinking about putting in this video, but no. And I also and the spells I use I use. Three chicken game is Easter. The player with the lowest life points takes no damage. Once per turn during the main phase, the, the turn the player can pay a thousand life points to activate one of these effects. Draw a card, destroy this card, your opponent gains a thousand life points. Neither player can uh, activate this card effects in response to an uh, effect activation. So it's a pretty unique. So it's basically just so someone can pay a thousand life points to draw a card, like. I would basically pay a thousand life points, draw a card once per turn, because I want to draw, it's a good draw power card. Destroy this card, or your opponent gains a thousand life points. This, like, this is a very good spell card for a Zodiac deck. I was just like, when I saw that, ooh, this would be nice, because of that whole hope, that whole hope card, it's like, that trap card, that you, if your opponent's life points are higher, then you pay... So, oh, whatever. You pay some a thousand, two thousand life points, and no, a thousand life points, and for how, how are the two thousand points that are above you draw? I forget the name. I use also three heart of the underdog, because there's mostly there's a good uh, almost half the monsters in this deck are normal, so it's a good chance that you end up drawing a normal monster. Like this could also be made into a Zodiac deck mixed with Velcro and the Ma Manga Warrior. Here's the cards that 
destroy um some a level seven or higher monster and draw two cards, and then I use one card trader. No, two. I use one card trader, and three swords of Radiant light, and the trap. The scramble egg, just was Sonic Jack, and. Three statues of anger's power to just like as lol. If this card is summoned in this way, opponent's cards are fetched by control another trap card that is a monster. And summon like you supposed to summon this card as a fat monster, rock type earth level seven, attack zero defense two thousand five hundred and two thousand five hundred defense. This card still is still a trap card. If summoned this way, this card cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. Well, you control another trap card that is a monster. If this card is best summoned from your spell and trap card zone to a monster zone while this card is a monster, you can target one card and destroy it. So, it's pretty good. And I also use two two Tiki Soul and two Tiki Curse. Tiki Soul, while this card is a effect monster, if another trap card you control is a monster, would be destroyed by opponents either by battle or card effect and then to the area you sit. You can send it in this. You can s set and set and send to the way You can set it in this round track on its own instead. So it's pretty good. And Tiki Curse. Now this card is a fat if another track card. But basically, it's a 18,000 dark type. And Tiki Curse is light, level 4,000. And. Well, this card is a fat monster. If another trap card is a monster that battles your opponent, monsters after damage transfer and destroy the opponent's monster. So it's pretty good. So basically, there's e ways to get around traps easily. But it's a traps are also a helpful stall while I'm trying to get Valkyrie and the Mangan wa Warrior out. And happy Easter and. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a like down below. And also another reason I made this YouTube video for the on the Dueling Network is because they have some having some issues with copyright due to, to internet property issues. I images have been removed many images from the site due to a short time frame. I had to implement this. The UE had unstable while I work out the kinks. Have been working out the kinks, so there's some legal stuff going on on Dueling Network. Like, I heard about it on a, another YouTube channel and it's like, wanted to check it out to see this, like, about the site. There's like, so a lot of the images are off. Is, uh, like, they are being sued sort of by some company that can have uh, like this site has been up for a long time without any problems so yeah it's pretty tough so it would be great if you can go and support the site and help them and It is a great site. It's a great dueling site. Just like there's been other duelings. There's another dueling site. I forget the name, but it's different. But this is like one of the best dueling sites. It's like it has a huge variety of database of almost all cards and OCG and TCG and it's free and everything. So it's a great site. Happy Easter. Have a great day.